as we celebrate investment in our, um, I would say, uh, the most important thing that we all have, our, our children, uh, our, our, our future, uh, the next generation of leaders in Columbia, South Carolina. I've been uh, fortunate over the years to visit hundreds of classrooms all across uh, the Midlands, indeed all across the state, and um, um, I get hokey. I'm at home with the kids, and I, and I love to tell them that, that uh, leaders are readers. And, and we all know that regardless of the confines of the world in which uh, these uh, beautiful young children are growing up in, that the more they learn to read, uh, then eventually they will, they will read to learn. And uh, the, 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 the tough asphalt or um, uh, difficult situations that they might be uh, living in that define the physical world begins to change very rapidly as their ideas and their imagination, their, 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 the power to, to, to innovate and ideate becomes very real. So investing in our children, investing in the importance of reading uh, couldn't be uh, more important. I want to thank the Lipscomb Family Foundation and, and AFLAC uh, for this uh, incredible uh, investment in our Parks and Rec Foundation, investment in our, our Parks and Rec uh, institution has meant so much to hundreds of thousands of young people who come through this great city over uh, many years. This is an investment that will bear fruit uh, for, for, for decades to come. And on behalf of a humble city, uh, I want to say thank you. God bless you. I think I'm going to give the microphone to uh, City Councilman Sam Davis. I, I need to be repetitive of the mayor's remarks, but um, I, I believe I mentioned once before that th this partnership is is very special. It is critical, uh, as indicated through his remarks. Um, also, uh, I think it's um, fitting that I also mention that um, Fred Monk was a member of the board back a few years ago when we were building and trying to put the resources together for the Greenview Gym. And the foundation at that time made a significant contribution. And uh, I don't know if any of you have visited the gym. Uh, it's, it's um, I think, a tribute to the kinds of partnership uh, that, such as the ones that, that we're paying tribute to today is all about. So um, we appreciate it. And as usual, we're going to continue to do our part to massage this relationship and at the same time be supportive of what we can do to, to increase its ability to uh, make the impact that it's already starting to make um, w within the parks and rec and, and recreational um, corners of, of the city. So uh, my gratitude, so are the citizens of this part of the city, but at the same time, Everybody benefits uh, from this contribution. Um, it's just that we're always, or we seem to be always located at this spot. Uh, it's the latest of the kinds of uh, efforts and relationships that we continue to build. And so thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you um, so much, Councilman Davis. And of course, thank you to our, our mayor, Steve Benjamin. Uh, my name is Henry Simons, and I'm the assistant city manager uh, for operations, of course, for the city of Columbia. Uh, of course, we would li like to, to officially welcome you uh, to this uh, announcement today. Um, we're, we're, we're sincerely grateful uh, for the opportunity uh, that we have on this day. I want to recognize Councilman Duvall uh, that's with us uh, on today as well. And uh, we want to continue to uh, thank them, our, our entire council, for their continued support of our um, Parks and Rec Foundation. Of course, we we have uh, our chair uh, to the Parks and Rec Foundation with us today, uh, Mr. Fred Monk. Thank you so much, Fred, uh, for your your uh, presence on today and your continued commitment uh, to the Parks and Rec Foundation. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge, of course, our city manager, uh, Teresa Wilson, for all of her continued support, uh, leadership, and guidance. Uh, I am also grateful for the incredible leadership um, of our Parks and Recreation Department, specifically uh, Mr. Randy Davis, who is our Director of Parks and Recreation, uh, Kenya Bryant, uh, our Deputy Director 
along with our entire team. Folks like Kerry Rich, uh, they commit their, their, their lives to enhancing uh, the youth in our community, which, which means a lot. I also want to thank our, uh, my office manager, uh, Ebony Kelly, who keeps the train moving. So thank you. Thank you so much, Ebony. Uh, this would not be possible uh, without their dedication and commitment to the city of Columbia. So we are excited uh, to formally announce uh, today um, the grant awards from the Liskum Foundation, who has gracefully uh, awarded us with $7,000 uh, that, that we were awarded to the Parks and Rec Foundation, of course, and AdPlac, uh, who has awarded us with an additional $9,000. Um, all funding received will sponsor uh, what we have named Little Readers, Future Leaders Literacy Program. Um, the program is designed to improve literacy while making reading fun for our young people. Ages 4 through 11, grades K through 5, who live in the communities near Pinehurst and Lord Park, which is within the 29203 zip code, which is also along the North uh, Columbia Corridor. This program will inspire and boost reading levels by providing culturally diverse age-appropriate children's books to youth on a monthly basis. So we're uh, absolutely excited about uh, this opportunity. And with these resources available um, to our youth, we, we feel very strongly uh, that placing uh, this, these books, uh, this opportunity, this, this, this access, um, will put them on a path of success at an early age. So we're certainly uh, excited about that. Uh, we want to bring forth um, our chair of the Parks and Rec Foundation, uh, Fred Mump, uh, to make some comments, and then we'll come back and do some acknowledgments. Fred Mump. Henry, thank you very much. Uh, as Henry indicated, my name is Fred Monk, and I'm privileged to be the chair of the Columbia Parks and Recreation Foundation and our 15-member uh, board from across the city of Columbia, uh, a, a number of which were appointed by Howard Duvall, Council Member Howard Duvall and Council Member Sam Davis, as well as uh, I'm Mayor Benjamin's appointee. So uh, it is our privilege to really act as a liaison with the Columbia Parks and Recreation Department and the City of Columbia. One of the reasons I'm serving on the board is exactly for this reason, is to see how we can gain community support for the programs of the city and the parks. I tell people, uh, you know, the parks are a tremendous asset for the City of Columbia and really help enhance our quality of life. But they're also, I think, a, a very important uh, connective tissue for our community. The parks touch all of us. They are in every uh, geographic region of our city. And they reach out to all of our citizens, young and old and in between. In this case, uh, with the grants for Little Readers, I really think, you know, it's, it's I, I, I think I read uh, that one of the grants is going to touch 60 young people, another grant is going to touch another 60 perhaps, and we don't know what really transformation these, this grant, these grants will have on these young people. There are stars out there, and they are in all of us, and hopefully uh, they will, these grants will help really, uh, you know, light a spark under these young people, uh, help them to build the confidence that they need to succeed and to go forward and do good works and contribute to our city. So again, uh, the Parks Foundation is really the intermediary. We are trying to help make things happen for the parks and uh, really build uh, the tremendous spirit that already exists there. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Fred, for your, for your comments. I want to take a moment to uh, acknowledge our partners. Of course, we partnered with uh, Riston School District 1, so we want to thank Dr. Tracy Cooper uh, for her collaboration on this effort. Uh, we also partnered with the Riston County Library, and we have 
Ms. Laura Cook, who's the community outreach manager for the library here with us today. So thank you so much uh, for your presence on today. Um, this has been an uh, amazing journey uh, for us so far. And uh, I am encouraged by the Liscom Foundation as well as AFLAC, who made a decision to commit to our youth, uh, to impact them in a profound way. These, these are things that I believe that they will never forget. And uh, we want to continue down this path to educate our young people. So thank you so much uh, for your presence on today. Um, we appreciate it.